Botafogo beat Boa Vista tonight at the Newton Santos Stadium by two goals to zero, which brings the aggregate score to 6-0. This was the Taça Rio final. They keep saying over and over again, it's the consolation prize of the state championship, the Rio state championship, which are very uh, normal things to have in the beginning of the season. Every state in Brazil, Brazil is such a large country that every state has its own local tournament that includes big teams and small teams, some teams with division, some teams without division. And usually because the, the bigger teams that have more money, they ended up making to the final and the semifinal. Um, Botafogo did not make it to the semifinal. It did not have the enough points. I think Botafogo missed the semifinal slot by two points or something like that. And it got to play a consolation tournament because the Rio State, um, the state of Rio gets five spots in the Copa do Brasil with the Brazilian Cup, which is the second biggest tournament in the country because the first one is the Brasileirão, right? It's the is the table, the team with the most points wins. The Copa do Brasil is a elimination round. Um, home and away, the team that wins moves on, team that loses is out. So in order to be able to, to make it to that tournament, you have to finish within the top five spots in Rio. That That is Rio de Janeiro. I don't know about the other states. So Botafogo did not make it because the semifinalists for the Taça Guanabara was Flamengo, Fluminense, Vasco, and Nova Iguaçu, which is one of the teams um, that don't have as much investment per se, which is why Thiago Nunes got sacked because he just wasn't returning the results per the investment that the club had uh, made for the for the squad. Instead, Botafogo got fifth and played the Taça Rio, which uh, Botafogo went to through uh, two elimination stages they won the first game and that put them on the final against Boa Vista and the club won this final tonight I'm recording this Sunday night uh, by two goals to zero goes by Cheche on a penalty kick and the second goal was by Cauê it was his very first professional goal his first goal with the Botafogo jersey with a great assist by Mateus Nascimento by the way um, Mateus came on he played most of the game he got substituted later off by Janderson I personally like Mateus Nascimento better than Janderson he's more technical and I think more than ever it's becoming apparent that Mateus position is more like an Eduardo um, instead of uh, an immediate substitute to Chiquinho Suarez because he just doesn't have that target man. Janderson, I guess you can say it's more of an immediate substitute to Chiquinho and Mateus would be for Eduardo. But recently, Botafogo hired um, Romero, Oscar Romero, the brother of the Romero from Corinthians that is now going to be the guy that's going to be rotating with Eduardo throughout the season. Tonight, there were some really important key takeaways. Like I said before, Kawe scored a goal, his first professional goal. Kawe saw a lot of minutes in this tournament, which was good. That was the one good thing about, um, if you want to say, not being able to make it to the semifinals because it gave Botafogo four extra games. And in these four extra games, the club was able to to put uh, to play academy players or players that, that weren't playing as much, that weren't getting playing time to get them ready for the season because the Brasileirão is about to start and the Libertadores is about to start. So this it's going to be a match in the middle of the week, which is the Libertadores, and then on the weekend, which is the Brasileirão. So for these guys to have had some sort of playing time already, and a lot of playing time, uh, is good because now the, the starters are going to go uh, are going to play this Wednesday feeling well rested, um, hopefully with no uh, additional musculature um, overcapacity of uh, power output that they can do in the game. They'll be rested, they haven't played. So it's a good thing. Uh, we also saw players like Newton and Jefferson Maciel, Rafael. He just came back from injury. He played two games now. Patrick de Paula, today, he got his debut after 400 days. Just imagine 
being out for 400 days without doing the thing that you love to do the most. So that's what Patrick Gipala went through. He had a terrible injury. He worked double time, sometimes even three times a day to be able to make it to this point. So Patrick Gipala came in and had a good game. Yes, the, the opponents weren't as good as the opponents that we're going to face in the Libertadores or in the Brasileirão, but um, he got some playing time and he had a good performance considering, um, especially because as soon as he came on, he almost scored a goal. So very good to see Patrick Gipala play. We got to see Luis Enrique play for 45 minutes as it was a agreement between um, the conditioning coaches and the performance coaches with Fabio Matias that Luis Enrique, Jefinho, Rafael, Patrick Gipala, those guys would play for um, at the most 45 minutes. So that's what we got to see today. We got to see Igor Gabriel uh, play some matches and, and, and get some playing time in as well. Um, Hai, I think, also did well during these trials. Um, we got to see Janderson play some more. Matheus Asimento play a little bit. Um, players like Cheche uh, and Bastos um, being the leaders of these uh, this reserve team, the substitutes. Uh, playing so it's good I think it was good all around um, it was uh, thinking almost like a blessing in disguise because of course we, Botafogo would have liked to to be fighting for the for the Tasa Guanabara which it is the winner of the state Rio championship is the winner of the, of the Tasa Guanabara so um, it, it would have been better to have won that but um, since we didn't play it, we got some of these other players to come in and get some playing time and get their their legs and their psyche ready for what's about to come because every club needs about two to three players of similar level um, per position to be able to give a coach um, some peace of mind to work um, throughout the season. And speaking of the coach... I have a second video coming out, so be paying attention because I'm going to release a video all about Arthur Jorge, the coach, the coach from Braga, from Portugal. He is now the Botafogo manager. I'm going to be bringing some some details and some numbers of Arthur Jorge in the next upcoming video, which will m most likely come out uh, Monday. So if you're watching this on Monday or on Tuesday, the video is come out already this video i only wanted to talk about the tasahiyu final and i'm going to make a second video now speaking of arthur jorge tomorrow arthur jorge manages his last game as a coach for braga against uh, portimonense i believe and if he wins that he will leave braga in a good spot for the remainder of the season which runs about just just an extra month or so so anyways that is all for today for this video and I'll catch you guys on the Arthur Jorge video.